Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager Class Silver Bolt. As you can see, his ultimate mode is a is a fighter jet, uh, specifically a Concorde, I believe. And all in all, he looks pretty cool. Harmony Coast mostly are G1, obviously, just has some white, just has some orange. Nice little details, it looks like he's a passenger plane, but he's more like a fighter plane, but a passenger plane in all sense. Some black, just has some red, some silver, have the Autobot symbol on the underside. He has a couple more Autobot symbols right on the sides of the wings here. And yeah, all in all, he looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, um, he is the main component of Superion. There are four other aerial bots on the way. Uh, I did manage, actually, I did get a reasonable deal, which is the reason why I've been reviewing so many figures as of late. Um, I got the, the Superions and, of course, Optimus Prime from Combiner Wars, and obviously the first wave of the RAD Warrior class figures. So, yeah, I got a pretty s sick deal on them, on all these figures that I got. Anyways, so I was able to get this guy and the other three aerial bots, but I don't have the fourth one as of yet as it is in another wave. Um, and I also did get drag strip as well, so um, anyways, well, that will be another story when we combine everyone into Spirion. He does come with a couple accessories, and that is, if we take a look here, just going to get the camera situated, he comes with this, uh, this long, long as rifle and this little I mean, let's see a drone or a buckler I don't know it's something like that anyways you can combine oh it's not incorrectly you can combine the weapons to look like make a long rifle but it's actually meant for superior so yeah all in all Silver, Silver Bolt here is very, very cool, I must say. He must be the th third or fourth one I've reviewed in my, <laughs> uh, of all time on this channel, but I'll have to do a Transformers count at some point. Anyways, transformation for this guy is very interesting. It's not, it's kind of complicated, but not too bad. So first thing you want to do is you want to take this uh, tail fin, fold it back. Then you want to unpeg the wings from the undercarriage. And then you want to, oh, he does come with landing gear. Fold that up. It doesn't roll, by the way. Then you want to um, take the, come to the underside here, move the arms up like this. Then you want to fold down the legs like that, and you want to rotate them forward, like so. Then what you want to do is you want to come back to, come back to the back of the figure, and you want to fold, you want to fold the feet around that is stored under the underneath the. Uh, underneath the fuselage of the jet and then if you have time just flip up the flip up the heels if you can a little tricky to do but kind of self-explanatory so there's the lower half Ooh, careful <laughs> don't want them to fall over next take the arms here fold them out like this rotate them forward like that take the take the Front of the front of the jet, and fold it back like this. Very silver bolt, sil silver silver bolt like feature like that. Then what you want to do is want to take the Autobot symbol right here, fold it around, and then you just want to fold fold the chest forward, rotate the head forward, and close the chest back up to reveal his head like that. And there you go, there you have Silverbolt in robot mode. All in all, I think he's very cool and pretty interesting to say the least. His backpack's a little sloppy in places, but other than that, I, it's not too bad. Articulation-wise, his head can go full 360 and go up and down. Arms can go full 360, up to the side, bend at the elbow, it can rotate, and that's it. His wrists can bend forward, but that's due to when you combine him into, combine the Superion, or him into Superion, I should say, no waist, but the legs can go forward and back. Well, not technically back, but it's limited by the by the back of the figure, which you can't move. Up to the side, bend at the knee, 
at two at the, on the double ratchet joint. He can rotate at the thigh, and his feet are posable due to transformation. His head, if we take a look at his head here, it's very, very Silverbolt, like very G1 inspired, uh, very neat. It looks a lot better than the Universe 2.0 version that I reviewed years ago, the Ultra Class version, if you know what I'm talking about. But all in all, uh, Silver Silverbolt's head sculpt is very, very neat and well detailed, I must say. Uh, he does come with, like with all the other combiner, combiner war figures, he comes with this collector's card. As you can see, there's Silverbolt right on the front. The back is just meh. His accessories, you can you can take the the buckler, put it in one hand, and then you can put his his shotgun or pistol or whatever in the other. I know the buckler looks silly, but all in all, it looks pretty cool. It doesn't fit well in like the uh, the shotgun, but that's okay. Anyways, all in all. Well, I recommend getting the Silverbolt. I'm going to say yes. It's a great figure. If you if you are oh, sorry, you're a huge Superion fan, you have to get this figure. This is a must-have. If you if you don't like this figure for whatever reason, chances are you're going to have to wait for a repaint. But all in all, this figure looks amazing. I would highly recommend getting this figure if you can find him. He you will not be disappointed by him, and the end result of Superion will look fantastic. So yeah, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Com Combiner Wars Forager Class Silverbolt. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, take care, see you soon, have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye!